the easiest way for us to import PDF into our Excel is through get data from PDF. But what if we are missing this option from our Excel? In today's tutorial, we are going to cover how can we import PDF into our Excel alternatively. We are going to follow the instructions in this forum. I will leave the forum link and the document in my video description below so that you can follow along too. There are two steps in total. Let's get into it. Step 1. To determine if your Excel can import PDF or not. You can download the file from my video description or you can scroll down to 1.2 in this forum and select this hyperlink to download the file. It will prompt you to this Excel workbook and we have to save a copy on our PC. Select File, Save As, Download a Copy. Once it is done, open the downloaded file and it will look like this. Remember to enable content or enable editing. Right click on a green row and hit refresh. It will tell us if our Excel can import the PDF or not. And it is still loading and yes, in my case, it is a yes. What if you are getting you cannot import PDF instead? Unfortunately, I am afraid there is no solution for your issue. Step 2. To import PDF into our Excel. Open a blank Excel worksheet. Go to Data Ribbon. Get data from other sources. Click on Blank Query. It will open a blank Power Query Editor for us. This is the same as Excel which allows us to do further data analysis, for example, filtering, sorting, and so on. We are going to copy a formula and paste it in our formula bar over here. You can either get a formula from my video description or you can jump back to this forum, scroll it down to number 2 up until you can see this equal sign over here. Let's copy the whole formula, Control c and paste it in our formula bar in Power Query Editor here. Let's click Control v This formula allows us to locate our PDF in our PC. This highlighted letters in red, locate, will do the locating for us. So in my case, I have saved my document in my desktop. Right click on the document and select copy as path. Let's get back to our Power Query Editor here and replace the letters in red. Simple click outside here. It will allow Power Query to load our PDF. Once you can see a display of pages and tables, you can tell that Power Query Editor has successfully loaded our PDF. But what if you are getting expression error as follows, which means there is an error in your formula. If you can recall, there is a value in our formula over here. If you are getting expression error, we have to replace the value 1.3 with either 1.1, 1.0 or 1.2. And in this case, I will show you how to replace it with 1.0. Control C to copy the value. And let's get back to our Power Query Editor and replace it with 1.0. Click outside and you can see that the Power Query Editor has successfully loaded our data. In the beginning, I have known that I want to load my data on page 3. Click on the empty space over here. It will allow us to see the preview of our data on page 3. We can scroll it down to double confirm this is the information that we want. Let's move our cursor to until you can see this sign. Click on it and you can see that the Power Query data has displayed our page 3 data over here. Scroll it down and I am satisfied with it. 
let's close and load so that we can load our data in our Excel. And voila, this is how we can quickly import PDF in our Excel if the get data from PDF option is missing.